Most people in here are natural SEO people, are at least familiar with it, so I don't have to explain click through and stuff, or is that accurate? Let, let, let me, so we don't embarrass people, how many people are SEOs or know enough about that I don't have to do an explanation of it? Okay, that's enough. For Worley, are you paying attention? Um, basically, what we're looking to do, part of the, 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 the process here is traditional PR, which is creating buzz. And that is getting people's attention, getting it fast, and getting them to notice you. But at the same time, we're doing, thing that's, doing things that are going to help us with natural SEO because we want to do short-term planning and long-term planning. So from the social media standpoint, I'm looking for click-throughs from the activity that we have out there. I'm also looking for a backlink, so I want people to talk about us, link to, to views and link to our properties so that we can have them you know, generate buzz for us later on after we've finished what we're doing. And then we want to, if we can, we want to try to define some anchor text, which in this situation really isn't a huge deal because out of the top 10 things that people, top 10 words that people use to search us on, eight of them are Vuzy or some, uh, or some version of misspelling Vuzy or Vuzy.com or Vuzy search engine, stuff like that. Um, I'm assuming we know what social media is. Essentially, social media is a catch-all phrase that means talking to people online. It can be connecting with them through bulletin boards. It can be IRC. It can be Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, Flickr, whatever. We're talking about engaging with people and, and GASP actually talking to people. And, and some of the stuff I'm going to use is, is um, some of the examples is, is going to going to require that you actually get in front of people, human beings, not do it all behind your computer. And when you, if you have questions, please interrupt me because I know I've got more slides than I can cover tonight. So when questions pop up, I'd rather have a conversation than me do this. Uh, yeah, I will. Absolutely. Um, so for Fusey, Fusey is going to be my primary case study tonight. Um, the basics that we started off with Vuzy was we launched a blog, you know, uh, kind of social media 101. Uh, we created a Twitter account. Um, we went and launched a website called Vuzy TV, which this is just a screenshot of it, but I'll show you an example of one of the videos off of it. Um, and then we had a YouTube channel. YouTube channel came much later. Yes. Um, at, what we do with Twitter is I didn't want to maintain, this is kind of lazy of me, um, I didn't want to maintain a separate account because what happens is I've got my, my primary account and what I do online is blurred and that's one of the things that we talk about later on is whether or not you take your real personal life and put it up online or whether you have you know, a delineation between what you are in the real world and this virtual life you have. For me, whoever I'm working for, that's, that's more than half of my, my presence online. Um, and then we also had you know, the blessing of having all these design, these user experience, and these, these uh, you know, programming rock stars that worked at Vuzy that already had their own uh, personas established um, and were comfortable, and they weren't going to put up with, hey, I'm the marketing guy, now you've got to come over here and write on this thing too. I mean, they're, they're going to look at you and go, whatever, I'm writing code. And I know that because that's what I used to do, the marketing guy. Um, so what I did with, with Twitter is I just set up um, Twitter feed. What's it called? Someone help me. It's an RSS, but basically there, there's um, tweet later. I think it might, might would it be. I'll, I'll put it inside the slide deck. There's a service, and I'm pretty sure it's called Twitter Feed. And what you do is you go, you create an account, then you go and you feed multiple other accounts into that one and syndicate it to one channel. So essentially, what we have is we have like ten channels feeding into Vuzy, which are all Twitter streams of employees at Twi at, at at Vuzy. And then when someone goes and responds back, I've got TwitDeck sitting on a machine in my office. And I've got one search term for at Vuzy. So anybody, anytime someone doesn't understand what's happening there and they comment directly to the Vuzy account, I can jump on there and answer them back. So if you go into my office and if you check my, my Flickr account, you'll see a bunch of pictures I have of our office and what I'm doing in social media. One of the pictures you see of a desk, I've got like six monitors. And most of those monitors are just one web page that sits and refreshes itself to give me, you know, what's happening on comments on blogs, what's happening on Twitter, you know, things like that. I, I do image searches. So if people are posting stuff up like on 12 different photo sharing sites and they're grabbing screenshots and tagging on Vuzy, I can jump over there and say, you know, comment on it. Because for me, my primary role 
Uh, literally about 30% of the time I spend for Viewsy is on Twitter by itself, and the rest of the time I'm just out there looking on the looking on the internet for people commenting about us. So either I can answer questions, concerns they may have, or just say, "Hey, thanks for checking us out." I mean, that's literally all I do for a living. Um, so uh, I'll put some more details in the slide deck that you guys can download. I lost something. Here we go. Um, so this is this is actually. Uh, um, the thing we do with Fusey TV now, if you go to Fusey.tv, what this is is this is our own Flash player where we go and we upload videos. Now we we deploy the videos in other places also, um, but the, but Fusey TV allows us to go and create our own our own experience. Um, we get about 2,500 visitors a day on this, um, and not only are these this is what Fusey videos are, but I will I go to five or six events a month. And I'll do interviews with people in search or in marketing or social media and stuff like that. So you can come up here and see like Chris Brogan and have an interview with Chris Brogan or, or you know Chris Perler from Locker Gnome or Robert School or something like that. So this is uh, the the first reason why we put Viewsy up here was more of a we've got to educate people about what the product is because if we come in and we tell people we're a search engine, they come to the site and do a search, and the first thing that happens is they're kind of flabbergasted because instead of giving them back search results, we present them with this view. And people don't know what to do with the view, so we've got this two-minute video that's kind of a, you know, this is, this is how you use us. Let me see if we can hear it. You can go on your own time and, and check it. I'm not going to bore the whole thing. But essentially, our issue was, you know, how do we get something that's going to be viral, that's going to be real, and that's going to introduce people to exactly what we're all about. The woman in the video, she is actually an intern of ours. She's a C++ programmer. And she ended up being kind of a, a, a diamond in the rough. When she came in, she interviewed for the internship to, to be a tester. And we had her testing out, reading the script before we were going to hire her in a professional spokesmodel. And she, like, learned it, like, the first time she read through it. And we're like, okay, go do your hair and come back, and you're going to do the video. And so she's actually an employee. She's an intern. She goes to University of Texas at Dallas. And, and that, that, for me, from the, from the standpoint of what we're trying to communicate to the world, is like this really is one of us. We didn't go out and hire somebody to do it. And she's not the most polished person, but she was good enough, and she's an employee. And now we've got somebody who she's got a bunch of fan sites called Viewsy Girl and stuff like that. So whenever she goes to events, people recognize her, number one. And number two, she can really talk about the product. And she can talk about code with people and talk about why we do the things we do. So that was a bonus for us because, you know, if, if we didn't have her as an intern, that we weren't going to have one of the fat middle-aged guys do the video. We had to get somebody that had good curb, curb appeal. So we were going to go out and hire a professional spokesperson. And we, we did a couple of tests with having people come with us to events to represent us on video. And almost every time, whether it was, you know, it didn't matter, you know, we would go to, to events and we would have, you know, different men and women that would be professional spokespeople. But they would ask a couple of questions of, of the technologists there, and then there was no way for them to follow up. And so great on camera, but you can't have a conversation with that person because they have a script and they don't understand technology. So that was a, that was a nice kind of happy accident for us. So, um, so we'll show you some goods about what, what we did through the different, the, the different platforms and how we got to, to, to actually get um, access to large media. Um, Chris Perillo um, runs the, the Gnome Dex conference up in Seattle. He's been involved in traditional and social media pretty much his whole life. He started off as a tech uh, TV host, uh, gosh, back in the mid-90s. Um, 
And now, essentially, he, he runs a website called live.perillo.com. This is all he does for a living. And he, he's a live caster. He, video, he, he, he uh, streams his life on the web 24 hours a day. He does demos for people. But he's got, you know, he's got great, um, great reach on his website. He had enough reach that CNN has him do a video review once a week. When we, had, when we introduced him to Vusey through Twitter, and, he was, and I'd been...